Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here. And it is day 39 here on the frozen rock. And we've made a little bit of progress, but it has been kind of slow going on getting this coal mining facility uh, set up. And I probably have more than enough coal, but the whole idea is having it in a functional setting. So what I want to do is, is get to where I have uh, good drills drilling and the ability to fill up all of these uh, both of these uh, cargo bins which probably one would have been more than enough but it is what it is. Uh, so let's go down and have a look down in the mine itself. What I want to get accomplished today is I want to get the drilling rig all set and functioning properly, which means I need to uh, get uh, get this all drilled out to where the drill is going down through the coal uh, coal vein, which I believe. If I get this set up, I'll have to remove these, put a conveyor junction there, and then put a uh, piston on, and then my drill, which means I will have to drill a lot of this out. But it also uh, means that I'm going to have to set it up and put uh, multiple, I, I think multiple uh, pistons on here so it'll give me some distance and then that'll probably be more than enough but I've got to be able to put it to where it stays in the vein otherwise I'm going to just end up with a bunch of rock so that's what uh, part that's what the plan will be for today is getting that drilled out so which means I'm going to have to go back over to the other base and get more parts where am I at here there we go and get more parts and I don't know why I haven't been thinking about this but I've got all that gravel that I have been mining as well and so there's no good reason why I shouldn't be taking it over to be processed it's probably going to give me plenty of gravel but I've got plenty of storage space over there so it should really help with my iron and nickel and that sort of thing. So uh, I'll need to fill this up with that stone and then head over. So once I get uh, back over here with uh, all of my materials and whatnot, I'll uh, uh, catch back up with you all. All right, I am back. I've got uh, quite a few materials up above. As you can see, I've taken out those two drills. Now the plan is to create a piston array. So I will put a piston. So let's see if we can get them on, at least get one on here to kind of show you what I'm doing. So I have this rotor with a piston on it. So if I should have to go down, I shouldn't have to go down any with that. Uh, by the time I get my pistons in place and in my drill, I should be able to kind of drill this all out and continue to move forward throughout the vein with, uh, I'm gonna put five piston in the array. So as I get more of the wireframe put on here, uh, I will give you an update as to where I am at. And hopefully we will be able to uh, get quite a bit of coal mined. And then once we get to the end of that piston array, then I'm probably not going to need any more coal. So I will be back with you here in just a little bit.
Alright, I'm back. I got a little bit of an update. Well, as you can see, I've got quite the elaborate array set up here. So, let me kind of show you. I started out, I've got the piston up above, so I can take this up or down. Uh, I also got the rotor so I can spin it if need be. I'm not necessarily planning on doing that. And that's all connected with a conveyor junction. I now have three pistons, one there, one there, and another one right there. And they're all connected with conveyor tubes or corners. So it will pipe all of the coal out. I also have four drills set up. One there, one up there. If we go around to the other side, there's two more. That should drill out enough space so as the pistons go out they're not going to hit any of the voxels so that that'll all be a clear shaft going out. So that should really kind of clear all of that out and it should be mostly coal that it's gathering as it uh, drills its way out. Uh, but we're going to be able to really do a very large portion in here. Once, uh, once these get all the way extended out, I can retract them all back. And then we can kind of clear out a little bit more. And then we would be able to move this over a little bit and then continually drill on out. The other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to have to build some controls down here. And what I'm going to do is kind of build up like a little platform back over and in here. And I'm going to connect it in up above this uh, piston so that it is connected into the coal base. Uh, and uh, we'll kind of take it from there. But that's just a little bit of an update. Once I get... I'm going to have to go through and name all of these so I know what's what. And then uh, I'm, I'm going to do that now. Uh, that way it'll be easy to figure out which pistons are what. And then I can kind of control, be able to control that. So once I get, uh, get the naming done and I get a little farther along, I'll give you an update on where I'm at. All right, just to kind of give you another update. So I showed you the uh, wireframe down below of the, the drilling mechanism. I was going to drill out up above the piston down below and tie into this conveyor pipe. But the problem is the blocks wouldn't connect up to it. I was thinking of these as round blocks and they're not. They're just uh, the conveyor tubes. So I've got to build a pillar down from up above, down below. And, uh, oh, I need girders. Of course I need girders. Let me do that. Make some room for some girders. I've got plenty of them over here. So what I'm going to do is build a pillar down below so that I can then build uh, a... Uh, kind of a console working platform down below and this way it'll all be connected up it'll be connected into the drills and I can manage those drills from down down below so uh, just wanted to kind of give you an update on where I was at uh, it'll take quite a few blocks I'm hoping that I can kind of drill my way down and build the blocks just kind of like I did below and then I have the outlet down below. So I will uh, catch back up with you all once I get the blocks built down and if I run into any problems obviously I'll let you know. I'll be back in a little bit.
Okay, just to give you a little bit of an update, I have gotten my pillar all the way down from up above, so I'm making me a little platform in here, which all it's going to basically do is have a control seat on here. Now I could go a lot more elaborate if I wanted to. Uh, I can probably kick this out a little bit more, but this should be pretty much out of the way. I can sit here, control this, uh, and then be able to uh, set my pistons to be able to extend out and watch and see how they're doing and uh, kind of take it from there so just wanted to give you an update looks like I gotta go uh, get some energy and then I can well let's see the next thing I want to do is finish out those that floor and then uh, get a control seat in there and then I can go through and name all of those drills let's grab some energy first here there we go uh, grab the rest of my blocks I'm gonna have to go get some more here pretty soon yeah, I only got 74 left. I don't know if that's enough to finish out. Let's see, 20 blocks. That's enough for three blocks. I should be able to finish finish the, what I have laid down down there. Uh, and then uh, we'll take a look at uh, the control seat. See what uh, that's going to take. Uh, I don't know if I have, well, I know I don't have the stuff to build the control seat. I'm probably going to have to go back over, which I'm going to have to get some more stuff for some more blocks anyway, some more concrete. But my thought is, let's go and do this, G, control, now well, let's just grab you and the control seat that I am looking for uh, not that one that one actually so aha synthetic fabric which I don't have any but I shouldn't need I shouldn't need that I should be able to, to build that because I think that is below or above the functionality line so we should be okay with that so I am going to go ahead and get the materials for that and get this built and once I get uh, get those materials I'll catch back up with you all all right I did have enough materials or leastwise I had everything except the synthetic materials or the synthetic uh, fabric but let's see if we, what do you mean unable to place oh come on really I don't want it back here all right I'm pretty sure probably what it is is this right here come on can we get it All right. Now let's see if we can put that in. Okay, there's that. All right. So if we hop in the seat, so we can we can see everything all right so let's see what here's what I want to do get into here uh, and then I need to name these so let's do this let's get these named But 
drills are kind of going to be easy. And what I can do is set up a block of these. So let's just do that now. I think I can do that. Coal drills and save. That way I can turn them all off and turn them all on at the same time. All right. Now let's uh, pistons. Uh, let's name these while I'm at it. I'll slowly get some of this other stuff named. This way I can just do a search for coal. All right. Pistons, pistons. All right. That is the one that is on the uh, comings down from above. And we'll just name that piston. Eh, we'll just call it piston one. All right. Now the thing of it is, I'm not sure which is which here. So I think what I'm going to do is we'll go and name these now so I know for sure. And then I will uh, let's spell it right anyway. And it what I'll do is get the parts to complete one of these. So I'll, I'll complete it, and then I'll know which one it is. And then that way I can name it, because I want to name them in order. So let's hop out of here. So, like, I want this one to be piston number uh, two, actually, because that... That is piston number one right there. So I need to get the parts for you. Come on, get close enough. Ah, go figure. All right, let's come around here. All right, you're going to be that way about it. We'll just do it like this. I'll just put a... Something that I can reach. Let's do it like this. There we go. I should be able to reach it now. And we're going to... We'll take that out. Yeah, there we go. All right, now we can get what we need. Uh, that's conveyor. And that part. So, let's go get the parts. I should have... I should have all of those parts over here, at least to build one. And we can get it named. I'll show you what I'm doing. And then I'll go through and get everything else finished and then give you an update at that point. So let's do this here. Oh, shoot, all right. Actually, let's clear that out. I don't need that, all right. Oh, seriously? Seriously? All right, we can do it like this then. Uh, and what does that piston head take? All right, well, fine. Let's go down and... Let's at least get the piston built.
There's that. Alright, I got enough. Gave me everything for that. Okay. Alright, now we should be able to go over here. And that should be. We type in coal. And that's that piston right there. So we're going to call that one. Piston number two. Perfect. All right, let's uh, so okay, so we got piston one. That's the one coming down from above, and then that's the first extension piston. Okay, well. That kind of gives you an idea of what I am doing here. So let me uh, get a couple of more pistons built. And I'll kind of get this, get this all kind of built out, at least the pistons portion. So you can kind of see what they are going to look like. So let's see if we can get down here. Uh, actually, I know what I'm going to do. I'll uh, go up above and I'll just pull out the pieces that I need and then collect it that way. All right, once I have a uh, update, I'll uh, catch back up with you. All right, well, I think we're at a pretty good spot of calling it good for the day. I uh, kind of wanted to show you what we've got accomplished. We actually got quite a bit accomplished uh, today. I got uh, the pillar from up above all the way down to here so that I got me a little bit of a floor and I can always expand this out if I need be. I've got my control seat in which gives me the ability to control everything from right here. Uh, I got all my pistons in. Uh, that was three pistons, that one there and there. It is all connected in. Uh, I can kind of show you over here. So we've got the green lights on all of the corner pieces on the three different pistons. So that'll give me a maximum, I think, 30 meters going out. Uh, I think it's 10 meters for each piston. So that should be approximately 30 meters. Uh, so I think that's what we got accomplished today, which was actually quite a bit. And I think this design is gonna work pretty well. Now we have this in the heart of the vein. Uh, so we should be collecting, once we start putting this into production, we should be collecting mostly coal because this vein goes on out this way and this is I'm walking in on coal so at a worst case scenario uh, if we run out of coal going that way then we can pull it back uh, I can drill this out a little bit more manually and, and turn the drills and then we can just head straight on out this way and continue to collect uh, collect more coal but that's gonna that uh, Drilling it out that way should give us way more coal than we'll ever possibly need. All right, I think, well, let me run up top side here and we'll finish the video off up above. Come on. Ah, I don't know why all of a sudden I'm starting to have a problem getting in and out. At least finished the video up here in daylight and it is starting to snow a little bit all right and we'll kind of take a look this is the hole in the ground I got to finish putting this back into place and I'll do that uh, here real shortly uh, actually let me do this let's just uh, hopefully there we go holes all filled up And, yeah, I figured I was going to run out. But at least we got that filled in. All right. Well, 
Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and if you do, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. Uh, and please subscribe to the channel. That really helps the channel a lot. And uh, so, uh, space engineers, keep building a way out there. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.